today we're gonna to do a little experiment. As most people know, GoPros shoot with a fisheye lens, which have really, really large fields of view. The downside is you get a little bit of image distortion. A workaround for this was taking the image and using some type of rectification process in post-processing. So whether you were using GoPro's editing um, software or Final Cut or Premiere, um, you could use some type of um, editor or some type of add-on um, to basically remove that fisheye distortion. When you do this, you usually would sort of subsample your image and basically come out with an image that has a little bit smaller resolution. shooting say in 4k which we do most of the time you wouldn't even really notice it with the hero 5 they've introduced a new feature called linear mode and basically the camera will do that rectification process internally in the camera um, the highest resolution they have it is 2.7k that's what we're shooting right now 2.7k 30 frames per second linear mode and what I've always wondered is how would the 2.7k linear mode compare to say a 4k fisheye um, shot where we then did the post-processing, the rectification, um, and compared the two. Um, I typically like to shoot in 4K as much as I can because having a really, really um, large image gives you a lot of versatility with editing. You can take an individual frame and use it as a, a high-resolution photograph. We've had some 4K images, um, video frames go into magazines, so it's just nice to have that versatility. Um, but I'm curious if the 2.7K linear mode um, looks better um, then there might be certain applications, especially with, with drone flights or um, depending on what your project is, you might prefer that. So what we're going to do today is we're going we're gonna to experiment between um, 2.7K linear and 4K uh, fisheye and we're going to jump between the two and compare. So right now we are in, again, 2.7K linear and it should look pretty straight. Now I'm going to shoot over to 4K fisheye, so this is an unrectified image. And now I'm gonna apply a post-processing rectification now and see if it makes a difference. Now we're back in 2.7K linear mode, but to really test this out, we're gonna put the Hero 5 back in the Karma drone and go film some kiteboarding. We're gonna to try to shoot three different types of shots. The first is gonna be just following along and keeping a kiteboarder in the center of the frame. second is going to be a high altitude reveal where we're basically keeping the drone in one position, rising up and then gimbling up to the horizon to see if we notice any differences in both resolution and the straightness of the horizon because that can often be the thing you notice the most. Finally, we're going to do a 360 degree pan where the camera is basically lined up with the horizon and we're just yawing the camera 360 degrees to give you a full view of the environment. 